Alright guys, now I know a lot of people have been waiting for this new video card to come out, but this is the unboxing for the GeForce GTX 660 Ti, designed and built by NVIDIA. Now this is also a same with my 560 Ti video card. This is a Best Buy exclusive for the reference card edition. This is the new uh, Kepler graphics. This has been um, a very widespread, rumored, and popular video card for enthusiasts. A lot of people have been waiting for this new architecture to come out. Uh, I did buy the, 5, 6, uh, the 550 Ti last year, and a lot of people were wondering whether or not on blogs should they wait for the new Kepler. Um, I totally agree they should have, and if they did, they're, it's paying off because this card is amazing. This is about twice as fast as the 560. It has many more CUDA cores. It has a lot of other uh, various features that make this card outperform the predecessor. But besides all the funky specs and this and that, what's better, what's worse, this is the new card, and I'm going to do the unboxing for it. Now, unlike my other videos, I'm going to show you um, the, what the box looks like. There's the top of the box. This is the back of the box. Now you can see kind of like what the card is going to look like with the, uh, like I said before, they tend to do this like varnished effect on the box. It's pretty slick actually. And they even do it with like the text down here. It has like more of a textured feel. Now this does come with a three year warranty, which is nice. Now here's, here's some performance right here for you. It's six up to six times the performance. So if you have a 9800 GT it's six times faster a GTX 260 is three times and a GTX 460 is two times okay so that's what the back of the card looks like and this is the base so here's some key features uh, GPU boost technology NVIDIA TXAA and FXAA has adaptive vertical sync, surround sound technology, and obviously it has two du dual link DVIs, the HDMI and the display port. It features the latest DirectX, the physics, 3D Vision, SLI, CUDA, and obviously now it has uh, PCI Express 3.0 support and OpenGL 4.2. Obviously the minimum system requirements is obviously a PCI Express. You do need two six pin connectors. Now uh, interestingly enough that this card actually takes 20 watts less I think than the previous generation uh, it actually do, it, it does take a 500 watt power supplier greater but the drain on your system I think is 20 watts less because the new graph the new chip inside is actually better on um, energy performance that's another benefit of the new Kepler uh, architecture and this is what's included, but we will get to see that while we when we open this up. So let's take a gander and open this up. All right. So just like my other video, this box does look very familiar. Um, has that in kind of like a varnished logo on the front very simple on the front with the uh, built by and designed by same thing on the back All right. so if you've bought a 560 Ti this should look very familiar it's pretty much identical um, I think in my last video I said this has a very Apple-like Apple -like quality. That's because it kind of does, the packaging. There's your uh, varnished logo again. And your welcome guide. So, overall, let's see what's inside here. Yeah, so you got your GTX GeForce stickers, which is kind of cool. Your software manual, 
and welcome guide. Now something new that they're giving you now, which is really, really cool, I like it a lot. It's a metal badge. I mean, it's actually metal. <laughs> which is a really, really, really nice. Even has like a little bit of texture to it, if you can see that. I like it. Now the funny thing is on the back, the since this is a metal pin, a metal a badge, it says, warning, this badge contains metal. Do not affix to your PC, internals, your sibling's hair, or your pet. Stick once, stick wisely. That is pretty cool. I like that. Okay, so and this is the uh, cables. Let's see if they changed anything. Well, it looks like they give you a little less than I think they gave you last year. Last year, they gave you an HDMI cable included. This year, they don't. You get a VGA to DVI adapter, which isn't that spectacular. And you get the two Molex to six pin adapters. That's it. That's all they give you. Uh, I, I think they could have sprung for the uh, HDMI cable. It's not that much. Um, they don't cost that much now. And they did get included into the 560 Ti series card. So uh, I, I really don't know why they didn't give it to you here. Alright, this lifts up like usual. And voila! Here is the card. Now this thing you have to kind of pull up on. It's, it's still attached. And then you have to just yank your hand behind here and just pull. There it goes. And there's the card. All its glory. So let me uh, open this up. Get the card out of the box. Alright. So here's the card. In all its glory. So we have a fan at one end. Uh, on, the five, on the 550 Ti, the card, the fan was in the center, under the shroud actually, uh, and it was just centered. And the vents would go out this way and this way. In this architecture, in this design, it looks like they sealed off the card from all the sides. And there's just one vent, well two vents if you consider that little vent there. Two vents that actually output the uh, heat. Um, now here's another interesting note. The uh, 560 was only configured for dual card, dual uh, video cards. This can be uh, three. So you have now two SLI connectors at the top. So you can do technically... Uh, triple configuration which is a nice feature there's the uh, bracket for the uh, Kepler processor behind here uh, some RAM chips this is your uh, PCI Express this is 3.0 now one thing I've noticed is that this is like plastic here on the 560 Ti this whole base structure was metal and I think it added cooling to it. Um, I guess they don't need it for this particular card, but it is all plastic on the outside. I personally, I'm not a. It's an it's an okay design. It reminds me of an ATI card series. It's 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 all right. I'm not totally wowed by it, but you know, I guess people don't care about what the card looks like per se. What it can do is the more important thing. And this is what the uh, ports look like on the back of the card. So you have your dual link DVI, your HDMI, and your display port. But this is uh, the GeForce GTX 660 Ti. There's your fan. And yeah, this is a pretty nice card. I'm, uh, I'm pretty uh, impressed with it. The uh, size of it's not too bad. I think it's like 8.5, I'm not sure. You might want to check online, but it's not too bad. It is bigger than the um, 560, it seems, but I'm going to double check that. Alright, so this is the unboxing for the GTX 660 Ti by in built and designed by NVIDIA. This is the reference edition. This retails at Best Buy for $349, I believe. Uh, you might be able to get it cheaper, obviously. Um, you probably can get them for under $300 easily on Newegg or um, Tiger Direct or something like that. Or if you have any questions, uh, please post and thank you for watching.